hello everyone welcome to module 8 of the socket programming with python video series uh, i am tuya from hectorlyzer team in this video we will learn how to sniff packets with scapy so previous video we learned a lot about scapy and we know how powerful it is so in this video let me go directly to the demo here is our kali linux uh, okay, we need to open scapy first. Just type in scapy in the terminal. Okay. So now scapy version is 2.2.0. If you want to know which protocol are supposed in scapy, simply type ls. Okay. There are many protocol are supported in scapy like PPP and NetBIOS, things like that. If you want to see current configuration, simply type conf. Uh, this is the current configuration. Okay. If you want to know built-in command in KB, let's say list the command lsc. So these are the built-in command in KB. So if we want to sniff packet with kp we need to use the sniff function so uh, let's do that so let's let's assign a variable let's say pkts packet sniff and then we need to put at least one argument so let's put interface our interface i face is equal to eth eth zero this is our interface name and then we put count is equal to 3 count is stand for how many packet we want to sniff so in here we only sniff 3 packet for example okay so let me do that and then make some noise ping 8.8.8.8 okay if sniff function got 3 packet it will return so we can see packet one by one pkts packet number zero here we go this is ip packet and this is icmp so it's the source address is from our ip and then destination is 8.8.8 .8 .8. so now we have ping so let me stop so let's see packet number one it's also ICMP, but now the source is a dot a dot a. It is ICMP reply, echo reply. Now here is echo request. Okay, and then we can see the third packet, packet number two. It's a ICMP request packet from my IP address to destination is a dot a dot a. So okay, but. If you use show method, let's say pkts dot show. Now it will show you in a nice format. That's three packets, right? ICMB request, reply, and then request. Okay, from my IP address to a dot a dot a, from reply from a dot a dot a to my IP address. So if you want to you see the packet in hash formats. So you can use hashdem function. Let's say hashdem packets zero. PKTS is our variable. You can choose whatever you want. So this is our packet one, a uh, packet number zero in hashdem format. If you want to write your uh, capture packets into pcap file for later use, uh, you can do that with. Uh, write pcat function so let me do that okay we call a write pcat function write pcap and then a capture file name let's say my capture dot pcap and then uh, our variable pkts which is our capture variable and then let me check in my home directory here, here we go my capture of let me open with wireshark 
here we go there, there are only three packet because we use the count tree so it is first packet is from our IP address to a dot a dot a and then echo reply from a dot a dot a and then another echo request okay so good when we want to read packet from capture far just we can use read packet function and then we store it into the variable so let me do that uh, my read let's say it's a variable and then read pcap function and then we put our capture file name okay now we can read the packet with my read variable my read dot show here we go there's three packet in our variable so okay now let's try to apply filter in our capture let's just say we only want icmp packet and not other okay let's do pk pktx sniff function i face eternal zero and then we put filter is icmp and then packet count is let's say five five okay uh, this filter is called bpf bpf filter format so let's hit enter and then make some noise okay now packet variable is written Okay, let's verify it's packet.show here we go there are five icmp packet okay when we want to see the packet in live summary view we can use the lambda function so let me do that uh, we use we increment our count is 10 and then we use the lambda function prm Lambda, and then we see the packet in summary format okay let's hit enter here we go now we can see the packet in live okay now there are 10 icmp packet okay so let me go back to my slide okay that's all for this tutorial if you have any questions or comment send it to me I hope this has been informative for you and see you in next video. Bye.